This week, the subject we have been looking at is captioned, Every Divine Agenda Delivers by Faith. In our lives, in our hands, God's divine agenda shall be fully delivered. By way of introduction and reminder, the agenda of God for this commission this year, 2024, has been prophetically declared, Isaiah 42 and verse 9. And among these one, we have been told over and again, it shall be minimum double the current size of every local assembly before the end of the first half of this year. Can I hear your loud amen? amen? Second, it has been reiterated to us also, it shall be minimum double the current number of home sales, both in attendance and number of WSF locations on or before the end of the first half of this year. Another loud amen. amen. And the good news is, we serve a God with whom nothing is too hard to handle. There is nothing too hard for our God to do. Jeremiah chapter 32, verses 17 and 27, saying the same thing. There is nothing too hard for my God. Can you say that with me, please? Louder yet, yeah, please. There is nothing too hard for our God. Nothing is impossible for our God to do. Mark 10, 27. Nothing. How many things are impossible for our God? Nothing is impossible for our God, including the prophetic agenda for this church family that has been declared. And of course, our God is up to anything, he says. Numbers 23, 19. Our God is up to how many things? Anything, he says. God is up to it. Therefore, this prophetic agenda, by the grace of God, shall be fully delivered. Can I hear a louder amen? amen? Let your amen show that you believe it. The good news, therefore, is you and I have a part to play. Of course, with or without you, God will do whatever he wants to do. But it's a privilege for you and I to be given the opportunity. We have a part to play. Say me, I have a part to play. And to deliver your part and my part, faith is a must. Faith is a must. It takes faith to see any divine agenda delivered. Mark 9, 23. It takes faith. It takes faith. It takes what? It takes faith. And God's servant has told us over and again that genuine Bible faith always comes with corresponding action. Show me your faith without your works. I show you my own faith by my own works. Wherever there is genuine Bible faith, it moves you and I into action. Therefore, we need to begin to ask ourselves and begin to make plans. The actions we are going to put in place for this prophetic agenda to be delivered so that our faith and our place will not be lost. Your place and my place in this divine agenda shall not be lost. No one else will replace you or me. Can I have believing amen? amen? And today we look at two examples of how this plays out. By faith, we saw how all the hosts of Israel went out of Egypt in one night. One night, the hosts of Israel, they've been in bondage for over 400 years. But one night, they came out of Egypt and became the church in the wilderness. Exodus 12, 42. The Bible talks about one night, a night to be much observed. It is a night, one night, a night to be much observed. 
the host of Israel came out of Egypt a night, one night, it became the church in the wilderness. If this happened in one night, then look at all the time we have between now and the half of this year. If God could make this happen in one night with the church in the wilderness, he is much more than able. Say, me, God is more than able. They came out one night, became the church in the wilderness. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 29 and Acts chapter 7 verse 38. Acts 7 38 talked about the church in the wilderness. Hebrews eleven twenty nine. This is very, very important for us to understand that faith is a must for you and I to retain our place in God's prophetic divine agenda that has already been declared for us as a church family this year. By the grace of God, the faith of God in you and I will move us to begin to make positive actions. Can I hear a louder amen? amen? The second example we look at briefly this morning is the upper room church. The upper room church. A 3,000 member church was born in one day. How many days? In one day. Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. After Jesus departed in Acts chapter 1, beginning from verse 13 to the end, they came together in one place, began to pray and to wait as Jesus commanded them. In Acts chapter 2, beginning from verse 1, the day of Pentecost fully came. And then the Holy Ghost landed upon each of them. Acts chapter 2, look at verse 2. See what the Bible says. Suddenly, there came a sound from heaven. Let's go to verse 3 now. There appeared unto them clothing tongues like as a fire. It sat upon each of them. Verse 4. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Verse 5. What happened in verse 5? People dwelling around, they saw what happened. Verse 6, this was noised abroad. The event on the day of Pentecost was noised abroad. And after that was noised abroad, verse 41, what happened? The multitude came together. And verse 41, they that gladly received the word were baptized and the same word, louder please, the same word, day, not this, day, single, same day, there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Have you ever imagined? They didn't have microphones that time. They didn't have all these electrical gadgets that we have today. But same day, 3,000 thousand souls. In Acts of it says about. So most likely there were more than 3,000. About 3,000 souls were added in one day. In how many days? Look at how many days we have between now and the middle of this year. So many days in between. God who did it in one day for the upper room church. He will do the same thing and much more for us this year. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He doesn't change. What he did before, he can do it again, and he will do it again. Say, me, God will do it again. He did it for the host of Israel that became the church in the wilderness. He will do it for us in the winner's family. He did it for the upper room church. He will do it for us in the winner's family. However, we must be ready to take action, to take action, to take action, and let our faith move us to begin to make decisions on steps to take. Because every divine task delivers according to our faith. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 1. Every divine task delivers according to what? 
our faith. He said, therefore, we ought to give the more honesty to the things which we have heard. We have heard it said over and again, the prophetic agenda of God for this church family this year. Let's begin to take action. I was speaking with some of the people on my team this week, and I said to them, there has to be a shift this year in the things we are going to be doing compared with what it was before. Because you can't keep this, doing the same thing the same way and expect a different result. And I've started out some of the areas where we need to make definite shifts. Because this year, your place and my place, another shall not take. Can I hear a believing amen? amen? So let's begin to put action, plan. Therefore, we must continue to build our faith and put action to what we say we believe. God's divine agenda will find complete fulfillment. Your place and my place shall not be lost. 